Very good. Guys, is there anyone here for the first time? First timers? Yeah. Me. Hello, Marcelino. Can you please introduce Hello. yourself? Welcome. My name, my name is Marcelino. I discovered this class in Twitter and I started today and I'm studying in college. I'm a IT guy. So that's it. I, I think Very that's good. It. That's great. Welcome to TNT. I really hope you enjoyed the, the conversation. Anyone else for the first time? Nayara, is it your first time? Yes. Yay, it's welcome. Can you can you introduce yourself, please? Hi guys, my name is Nayara. I'm 25 years old and I'm an stu English student. So this is my first time. Very good. Nayara, how did you find TNT? Um, I find the Telegram. Telegram, okay, that's nice, very good, interesting. Guys, so uh, now we're going to split you in small rooms, okay? You're gonna, in the, in the breakout room, don't forget to be respectful, don't correct each other, be really, really nice. And I think you all have access to the questions already, right? Um, they are there in the chat, but I will send one more time just to make sure everyone has them. So the questions are here. In the breakout room, please choose someone to read the questions and kind of organize the, the conversation. Be respectful. And I really hope you enjoyed the, the topic and the meeting. If you didn't receive anything, it means you're going to be here in the main room with me. Okay, so I will, I will split you right now. See you in a few minutes, guys. Okay, work. You can start, Anna. <laughs> it's working. So let's go, guys. Uh, we could start present ourselves, maybe. Uh, Marcio, oh, Marcio, uh, because Nayara and Marcelino have already presented themselves, me and Bruno as well. Hello, good morning, everyone. I'm Marcio. I'm from Salvador. Although I was born in Rio, I've been living in Salvador for three years. I'm 49. And I've been here learning from you uh, since a month ago. Okay. And I'm, I'm really, I think it's really nice to, to be here and share the, the knowledge with you and try to improve my English. Awesome. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you so much. So let's go for, for the questions, right? Um, Marcelino, do you have any pets? Uh, if not, have you ever had one? No. Do you want to? Uh, I, I don't have. But uh, I, I, I had a turtle. And I, I don't know the name in English. Uh, the shield of a chicken. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you mean Pinquinho? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how how say it in English as well. Uh, yeah, uh, me too. And but my girlfriend had uh had uh, eight eight cat and five dogs, so. <laughs> I, I I know a lot of animals in my day, you know. So and all all these animals was adopted, you know. And she believed that you have to adopt an animal and not sell or, or buy. And yeah, that's it. 
Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so you have a lot of contacts with Tess. <laughs> and you, Nayara. Thanks. What about you? I have two, uh, how to say, calopsitas. I think it's cocktail. Let's check. Yeah. Cocktail, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have two cocktails, but uh, they don't live with me now because I'm busy. So <laughs> they live with my mom in my hometown. And what are the question? One minute. It's the first one. Okay. And do you want to? I I intend to to bring the uh, to bring them to my new uh, home, but not now. <laughs> so, do you like only birds? You don't want, to, you know, a dog or a cat that have, are more common. I have cats and dogs, but I prefer birds. Great, great. And you, Marcio? Okay, uh, I had, I had a, a golden retriever. Okay, and was. Uh, uh, and it had a pedigree. Okay, uh, I my wife and I decided to to buy one. If I if I had uh, watched this video before, probably I won't. I I wouldn't do that. But uh, too late. <laughs> and we buy we bought a, a, a good retriever with pedigree, and then uh, its last name was Nancuna. First name was Diver, Diver Nancuna, and we we uh, we raised it uh, to six months. Then we decide to to donate to one of the employees of the of um, uh, what can I say the, the shop that uh, treats animals, I, uh, the pet shop. Okay, then uh, we donate for the uh, to employee. Of, of a pet shop because we were very busy at that time and we left the diver all day long alone and when we arrived he, he was it was so stressed that then we, we realized that he was it was suffering uh, it was a suffering for for for, for it then we decided to donate to someone who would uh, have more time to to be with him okay oh that's great that you guys realized it right that it, it was causing suffering for from him and you bro yes no i don't have pets um i've had a fish when i was younger but um, i really would like to, to have one maybe cat or a dog um I, I still live with my parents so i live under their roofs but maybe when i have my own place just like nayara i can i can have my own my own pet you know but for now i still don't don't have one and you Anna, do you have any uh currently not but i have uh, a fish a dog no two dogs and a cat in different times uh, while my childhood. But uh, I want, I, I do want a pet now, but I know that I, I don't have enough time to, to take care of it. Just like Marcio, he would stay all day long alone. And I know that it's it's not the, the correct thing to do, right? Uh, but I, I love pets and uh, I probably, um, in in a while, I, I when I I have enough time to take care of it, I will do it. Um, nice. So could you read for us the second question, then answer it, and choose someone after you to answer? 
Sure. Uh, second question, what are the pros and cons of keeping a pet? Okay, uh, when, when you choose to, to buy or adopt a pet, you'll, you'll have to think that it will be a member of your family. And we, we learn from, from Diver, uh, it's, it's really a, a, as, you, a, a, as you adopt a, a, a child, okay? Then you'll have to raise it, you have to take care of it, and you'll have the cost. And it will be uh, uh, answered in the next question. So I, I won't tell about the cost now, but you have many, uh, many responsibilities involving the, this pet. So you'll, you'll have to, to think about it. But uh, this is, I don't think it's cons. It, it's, it's reality. It's what you, you have to think about. Um, the pros because the, I love dogs. Okay, I prefer dogs than, than other other pets. So uh, I intend to 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 have another one when I have time. Not when I have time because uh, I'm in the process now of moving. Maybe and now it's not a, a good time for it. But uh, you have a dog. Uh, it's a dog. It's a perfect pet because he is. Uh, it's always uh, available for you, and it uh, it acts like it itself all the time, and show love all the time, show care. So uh, it's wonderful to have a dog. Just someone to answer, please, Marcy. Sure, uh, please, uh, Marcelino. Uh, to be oh, okay, okay. Ha, have a, a animal has a, a pro and, and a con. I think when you have an animal, you can you can you you have to expensive your your time and and buy some stuff. And you have to, you have to, uh, what can I say? Living for her, for, for the animal, living for the animal. So you have to buy some stuff, uh, spend your time. And the pro is you have to, you have a, a friend and you have some something someone to spend your time to the good way you know and this is it hey Joe, Nayara. what do you think that are I, the pros and cons i agree with mas Marcio and Marcelino. Uh, when we have pets at home, we, 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 oh, but <laughs> I forget the word. It's okay. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. We have, we have, we have time <laughs> and money and attention and love to animal because they suffer if you, if you don't care, care us. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> so I, I believe that the pro because uh, make you happy, enjoy your life, but that uh, comes because you need to to give more attention and care, and that's it. And you agree? Yes, I agree with the with the guys. Nayara said something nice about uh, giving love, right? And they are really lovable and cuddable. So um, it's it's nice, you know, to 
feel loved and give love uh it's i know i've never had a pet like uh like a dog or a, a cat who are really lovable and cuddable but i know because i've seen already a lot of friends um and i would say the cons as the guy said uh just like marcio i don't want to uh answer this third question uh already like talking about costs but this this can be something and also they die right this is sad <laughs> this is a con they die and they're not here forever and it is it is sad <laughs> can you think of any other Anna? yeah definitely i would say this last one that bruna mentioned it right we we get attached to them right and we suffer when they go because they live a, a small uh, a small period of time consider comparing with us right but yeah definitely the pros could, i could say that is they, they keep uh, the environment of our houses uh, happier right you we can play with them all the time <laughs> and that's uh, funny and the cons would, would be the, the just like you guys mentioned right the extra costs to buy their stuff and the time that you have to dedicate with uh, for them right uh, Nayara could you read uh, I don't know. Uh, we we maybe just uh, have already answered the third one. We can skip them, right? It's right. Nayara, could you read for us? Okay, okay. You you could read for us out loud the fourth question, then answer it and choose someone to answer after you. Please. Okay. Is there any difference between a pure bread bed and a mixed bread? one i don't think so both are animals that deserve love and and caring i i don't think that uh uh that exists any different between the so that's it and i chose Marcelino. I, I agree with uh, Nayara. Uh, don't have any difference. In, I think has a difference when you, you consider it the, the health. Some animals uh, has a uh, a problem, health problems that others animals don't have, but in, in general is the same, the same animals, and we have to look at him like the same animals. So in general, I don't believe there are a difference. And I pass to Mas. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Uh, and in terms of behavior, I agree with you. But on the other hand, uh, when you when you talk about uh, taking a dog to a competition, and maybe some people like to do that. Uh, it's important to be a, a purebred, okay? To have a, a reference, a family reference of the dog. And uh, I think you are right about, uh, Marcelino is right about, uh, the, about health. And that's one of the, the, one of the reasons that I, we choose to, to, to buy a, a purebred dog. But uh, in, in, in this uh, specific point, I think I was wrong. we were wrong because uh, the purebred, the health of the purebred sometimes is poor 
than the, the mixed one. Okay, then we think that it was the contrary and it, it wasn't. I think that's enough for, for this. Uh, please, uh, Anna. Yeah, I agree with Nayara, definitely with what Nayara said, but uh, they are uh, paths uh, and, and they need the same, uh, the same treats, right? W that we can give love and affection and take care of it. But uh, there, this is something that I would mention in the next question, but you guys have have mentioned it uh, already, Marcelino. Yeah, and in my college, we learn about it. That is uh, uh, all the animals we try to, even humans, we try to, uh, unconsciously is about an instinct. We try to approach the uh, genetic variability. And in pure breads, they, they make the, uh, the closed ones uh, have uh, children uh, among themselves. And then uh, it starts to appear these, uh, um, these illness that are hidden in, the, in their genetic, right? That's why they the, they uh, usually they say that uh, their health is, uh, is poor than the mixed ones. <laughs> but yeah, and what about you, Bru? Well, we had to kind of class here now, right? <laughs> yeah, I I agree with you. Uh, Marcy brought a great point uh, talking about like competitions. I don't know if this is a common practice here in Brazil. I've never, I've never seen it. I, I usually see it on movies, but this can be can be considered. Um, but when we are talking about um, like literally pets that they are going to be just at at home, you know, and just uh, as a member of a family, I think there isn't any any different difference and. Yeah, maybe this they can be seen as more beautiful and like these pure pure breads can be seen as more beautiful, unfortunately. And I think I can let my comments to the next question. <laughs> the other comments. That's it. Awesome. Uh, Marcelino, could you read for us the fifth question, then answer it and choose someone to answer after you? Of course, uh, sixth question, right? No, the, uh, the fifth. Oh. The fifth? Yeah, the yeah. fifth. Okay, okay. Did, did you, you ever consider to purchase a poor bread, bread pup? Why? I, for me, I don't consider it to buy a uh, poor bread. And uh, wait, wait a second, pushes is a daughter? No, no, no. Yeah, to, to have one, uh, even buy or uh, ah. to purchase is to buy. Yeah, yeah buy. purchase to buy. Oh, oh okay. I, I consider it to, to push it, a, a dog and a cat. A dog, I, I think I, I, I wanna, I don't know the name of the dog. It's like the, the winter dog, you know? Like, uh, what can I, can I say the name? Like Husky? Yeah, Husky Siberian, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it, this is it. Uh, Husky Siberian and a cat. Uh, the question said poor bread cat. So I, I don't think that I can, that I buy a poor bread cat. I, I just adopt uh, a cat. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't think too much because uh, every day and 
every week I go to my girlfriend's house and there has a, a lot of animals. So I don't think too much, but in, for, in, in the future, I think I can push a, a dog. So that's it. And if, if you can help me, how can I say these words, pushes? I, I don't know how to say it. If you can help. Purchase, right? Per, per, purchase. Uh, oh, okay. Purchase. Okay, okay. I will improve. I will improve. That's okay. Uh, Nayara, what about you? Yes, I I consider purchase a pure bread because they was so cute and was a Lulu da Pomerama. But I thought about adopting a dog too. But I, I don't know. <laughs> That's it. Okay, thank you. And your Mars. Okay. Um, so I, I don't consider to, to purchase a, a pure bread anymore uh, for the reasons that we have discussed here this morning. And, but I do. I do think in adopting one uh, in, in a near future because we really love them. And I have uh, a small lady, okay, my daughter, and it's lovely to see how her eyes brighten when she talk uh, about uh, having a dog, okay? But it's not a good time, as I said before. Thank you, Bru. Um, I, I won't say I've never considered, um, but um, I think nowadays, because they are, um, as I said, these, these pure bread puppies, they are, uh, they are seen as the cutest and the most beautiful ones, and we Actually, they are, they are, they are, how can I say it? They are shown on media. There are a lot of pictures of them on the internet showing that, wow, oh, look how cute this uh, golden retriever, look how cute this uh, pug, you know, so they are, uh, they are always shown on media as the cutest. So for this reason, we think they are better or we start uh, agreeing with this standard you know with this beauty standards that it is crazy but this always happens with uh, this also happened with animals too right so um this happens with us as humans but also with the, the animals so uh that's why i have already considered because they are they are cute you know but we have the we have these problems we were discussing. That's it. And Joanna, have you ever considered? Yeah, definitely. Where when I was young, uh, maybe it's because this work of the media that Bruna Show uh, mentioned it, right? Oh, we think they are the cutest one, but actually. Mm, it's just a beauty standard, but uh, I think that the good thing about a puppy, right, is that you can enjoy seeing them, them grow, right? Uh, um, how can I say? Sometimes in the shelters, when you adopt, uh, they are, uh, they, the, the pets are already adults, right? So you can uh, see their their I, I don't I forgot the word to to say accompanier right you can 
I, you can see them uh, changing, right? I think that is a beautiful process to see. Uh, and uh, 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 a challenge one as well, because you have to educate them, right? <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I consider, but now not nowadays because they are too expensive. <laughs> uh, let me see. Nayara, oh, oh, you. Let me see. It was Nayara or Marcelino that read. Let's go with Marcio. <laughs> Marcio, uh, read for us the seventh question, please. Then answer it. Sure. Some people worry about the bread considering animals' characteristics, strength, intelligence, etc. How can this system be harmful? Do you believe that this system will break down someday? Well, I, I truly believe that it's a trick question because uh, when they, when it's uh, they they ask about how can the system be harmful about uh, consider the animals characteristics uh, breads characteristics I I don't know I I don't see uh, uh, for this perspective I uh, I never thought about this point of from this point of view okay. But uh, as the question is provoking me, I'll try to uh, I'll try to say that uh, I don't think uh, I really don't consider animal characteristics. I think, that, uh, as I said, I, I like dogs. Okay, I just consider to have a dog, and I think their behavior. Uh, Accept some 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 breads like I I don't know in English pastor alemão and uh, uh, pitbull that 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 they are really brave okay I I don't consider to have one because they are uh, they are dangerous I consider that they are dangerous so all the the other breads for me are really nice and although i i prefer the golden retriever so uh it's probably that i i have when i adopt one or i choose to have another dog i i will have a a golden retriever so i i cannot see how this season can be harmful in from this perspective Okay, thank you, Marcelo. And you, Marcelino. I think he, I think I think that can be harmful because when you see a different dog, a different animal, you have a preconceptions about them. You know, like when you when you see a, a pit bull or the other other animal you you think about the violence that animal can do you know and i think it's wrong because has a lot of a lot of pitables that not violence for example so i think it's uh, i don't know the name in english but it's prejudice prejudicial so about the other questions, about the other question, and if I believe that system will break down someday, I, I don't know the answer, but I think it will reduce because in the modern world, we have a lot of information and I think in the future will be less uh, we have a less preconceptions about this. Awesome. Thank you, Marcelino. And you, Nayara, what are your thoughts about that? 
like Matthew, I never had seen this way. So I agree with Matthew. And maybe someday the system will break down, but I don't believe now, but maybe in the future, it's a possible. <laughs> Ok, thank you. Bru, uh, what about you? <laughs> uh, maybe we can explain to, uh, for the guys what we're, we are thinking when you <laughs> create this question. Right? Yeah, it is, it is interesting because um, well, every time we have to create the questions, we write them according to our, our point of view, right, Marcy? So uh, when I wrote the question, I and me and Anna, we were thinking about um, this system that uh, animals are, um, they are sold based on their characteristics. So for example, bother collies are sold because they are seen as smart. Pit bulls are sold because they are strong and they can protect you. And this creates a system of selling dogs and we're producing them uh, and sometimes it can create a harmful environment for the dogs, uh, dangerous shelters and uh, dangerous places for them. You know, they are not, uh, they are not taken care of. So we wrote this question thinking of this, this point of view, you know, uh, and I don't know if this system will break down someday. I think there will always be uh, this. There will always be someone doing things the wrong way just to just to make profit and take advantage of this of this system. You know, so I don't think it will end forever. You know, there there is always someone bad doing the wrong stuff. You know, and. I think that's it. As I said, it, in my point of view, it, it can be harmful because there is always uh, in many, 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 many places, they are always reproducing and trying to sell and sell and sell. And they don't think about the animal uh, as a human being. That's it. Human being? No, as a, no, how can a I say living it? being. As, Living, <laughs> living, that's it. <laughs> and yeah, you, are, yeah. you, you are right. I, if if I, I can add something, of okay, course, uh, to what uh, you and Marcelino have said, because Marcelino have said, oh, uh, pitch bulls, uh, there are pitch bulls that are not dangerous, they're not angry. Okay, yeah, I think that's the way you, you haze them, okay. Fending with love, with with care all the time. I I agree that they will uh, develop with these characters. But there is an important thing in each uh, bread that is uh, that we have to 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 pay attention. That is the instinct. Okay, the instinct. There are there are some bread that are really. Uh, by instinct, they are really uh, fighting one. Okay, they they they, they really uh, uh, what they really were born to to fight. Okay, they are prepared. Their nature is 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 that. Okay, so sometimes uh, when they 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 feel like uh, they are trapped. Okay, um, they probably will act like anger, like attack someone. And I, I, I can give you an example. I had a, a friend of mine in, in, in the work and uh, he used to have uh, like a Doberman. It's not a Doberman, but it's a, a bread that uh, has such a stink. And uh, we, we always talk about that. And he told us that he had no fear about it because uh, the way uh, he he created he hazed that that 
that dog, okay? But uh, there was a day that uh, something happened that this dog that he created with all love, with all care, okay? I, simply, I agree with you. I agree. Simply bite uh, 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 his arm, okay? Then uh, he, uh, he arrived at, at the job with his arm uh with uh, a band okay then he told us and about it and he told that he was thinking about sacrifice the dog so uh, we have to I, I i don't have to be uh to be the one of the truth okay uh, it's not my intention but i i i only provoking you that we must uh, uh, pay attention to the nature of some brand. It's uh, uh, it's something that we cannot deny. That's true. Yeah, and it's good that you're bringing this this other other point of view. And I love when you do that. So it's it's all good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree with Marcia. There are some brands that are more aggressive than the others, right? So. Okay, I want to put a dog on a guard in my, my house, so I would buy a pit bull, not a golden retriever, right? Depending on their intention, you you maybe you will search for a specific breath, right? But uh, yeah, uh, just uh, reassuring what Bruna said, when we, we are searching for videos about this topic, right? We saw some videos about uh, how the, the pets are treated in these breeders, these pet stores. And it's just like a line of production, right? Uh, the females are pregnant all the time, almost. And it's not, it's not healthy for them, right? And they uh, are stored, uh, the puppies are stored sometimes in tiny little spaces and that's why we created the, the, this question, thinking about uh, the way the environment of the for, for the pets, right? And yeah, I don't think that uh, maybe it will take a, a long time for the system breakdown because nowadays we value, I don't know, the appearance of the dog. Maybe, oh, I have a golden retriever. Or, oh, I, I don't know, oh, I have, a, my dog have a pedigree. So nowadays, people, some, some people value the most these kind of things, not to have a, a, a pet itself, right? I don't know. <laughs> we have enough time for another question, Bru, I don't know. Uh, I think I will close the rooms now, but I, okay. I it was great, guys, I loved it. Unfortunately, we, we didn't have the time to enter everything, right? Yes. That's sad. Yeah. It's okay. No yeah. problem. <laughs> yeah, no, but it was it was great. I I really want to know from you guys if you know an NGO that rescues abandoned pets. You know. So, yeah. Maria, do you know any? Share share with us. In in my hometown, there uh, an NGO. ONG that recuse uh, animals in my town and uh, would level in a second town <laughs> to some some place and feel alimental and that's fit. it fit. fit and fit them very good can you share with us like do you have the the name Oh, I, I don't remember. It's a, a page it's okay. in Instagram. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Let's check how was the conversation with the guys. Um, no, that's how was the conversation. Did you like it? Yes, I like it. And I I love this this subject. Congrats to to brought this topic for us. And as usual, it was a very, very good conversation. I have a good good time with my, my friends here. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. I want to ask Jefferson the ninth question. Jefferson, in your point of view, what are the reasons that lead people to abandon a pet? 
do you, do you know anyone or have you ever abandoned a pet or like donated maybe <clears throat> uh, maybe lack of time most of the time you you must have time to create the dogs or a bird or something else it's very important about the time sometimes about the money they have no money as what was discussing it's too expensive to have a dog and three dogs like me it's too expensive more expensive yet you never must to to spend money with vaccine doctor medicines and a lot of things i think so i think that's the the reason and sometimes the dogs unfortunately the dog is not so good good health if they abandon i saw a lot of dogs in my city with this situation it's cruel it's not so so good yeah i want to check with monica monica how was the conversation did you like the topic i love the topic i will present to you for one minute mel of Here. course go go ahead let me see it <laughs> Mel is, still, Mel, Mel is sick now, but she's with me here, all of you, and participating at TNT oh, conversation that's, today. That's okay. so sweet. Thank you so much for bringing and showing her. <laughs> well, guys, I will send the link to our YouTube channel and also to the feedback. So please click there right now, uh, evaluate us share your thoughts about this topic in the second link we have the link to tnt's website if you want to have classes uh, like with material uh, and with like other students we have classes for beginners and intermediate students and we have also the link to the youtube live the last one just before we finish i want to check with marcelino how was his first experience how was it, Marceline? Did you like it? Yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, it's very was very great, and I learned a lot. So, thank you. Very good. Thank you so much for coming. I really want to see you here more often. Okay. And Nayara, what about you? How was it for you? I like so much. I I I have improve my English so it's a great opportunity to do this yes girl you are at the right place please keep coming Marcelina Nayara and everybody yeah. I really want to thank Anna to to host co-host with me today and I would like to add something no <laughs> thank you guys Thank you so much. Uh, Shana, thanks for coming. Uh, I really hope you have enjoyed. I know you love animals too. Uh, and guys, I think that's it. I really hope you have a great day. And I see you next week. Okay?